Being in a space to try new hobbies is so important. One of the main things that I've noticed in my life is that when I was in a space and an environment where I was allowed to be myself, I was allowed to, you know, free flow, be who I think I am. I was so much more successful, happier, positive. I was confident with my abilities. Anytime I played on a team where this is the first time someone's ever seen me play, I played amazing. I had the performance of a lifetime because there was no preconceived notion of how this person is supposed to play, how good this person is. You have this free flow feeling of no expectations and you have to constantly feel this way because that's how you're gonna grow and learn the fastest. You ever realize that sometimes when there's people around that kind of make you nervous so like you're afraid to make a mistake in front of them, you're not gonna play your best. You're not gonna be at your best. You're not gonna think and be as confident as you are. That's why after the fact, you're like, oh, I should've done this, or I should've thought of that, or oh, I knew what to say, why didn't I say it? Because again, you need to be in a space to be the most you you can be. So being in a space to try new hobbies is so important. To try new things is so important. But the question comes up where, how do you really do this? How do you just be yourself no matter what? How are you unapologetically yourself? How can you actually do that? What are some steps needed to do to actually get to that level? One of the first steps that I noticed that's helped me personally, I have not helped others, is when you expand your horizons. You do the new thing. Try something new randomly. I've never shot a basketball before. Let me go down the street and just shoot a hoop for a second. Try new things. Oh, I've never cooked this meal. Oh, I've never cooked before. Just do it. Something that does happen is say, for example, you live with your parents or you wanna try something new, but you don't know how to do it without them judging you, without someone saying, hey, why do you do it this way? Hey, why do you do this way? This, this. Block out the noise, right? You're gonna to have to learn to do it somehow and eventually. But again, just try with the small things. Don't try with the biggest thing right away, the hardest thing, but make sure you do try, right? You try doing that recipe. Even if you know you're gonna get a little bit of hate, even though you might come out bad, try, expand those horizons. And in doing so, you might discover some passions. And if you discover some passions, you're gonna be able to do that thing no matter what, because you won't care. And again, it is hard to do the thing that in front of people sometimes, and it's nerve wracking. Or when you have a coach that you know is gonna sub you out if you make a mistake, sometimes you have to be able to silence out the noise even from your coach your parent, whoever it is that you're feeling this pressure from. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's your spouse, whoever it is, understand that you might disappoint them. You might disappoint yourself. Who cares? Life is that way. You have to be able to do the thing that you wanna do unapologetically. And again, start with the small things first, then elaborate, grow upon it. And when you discover these passions, you're gonna feel the need to do that thing no matter what. And in doing so, there's so many mental and emotional benefits. You're gonna be so much less stressed you're gonna be able to perform under high pressure. Those are what make great people and great athletes and great cooks and great whatever it is, is being able to deal with that pressure. And everyone knows this, pressure creates those diamonds. And when you do this, you're gonna be more creative. You're gonna be more innovative. You're gonna try new things naturally. And it's not just in cooking, it's not just in your sport, but in life. You're gonna be more innovative. You're gonna try new things naturally. And when you're not afraid to make mistakes, you actually learn faster. And again, that's another huge benefit to trying new things and putting yourself in a space, in an environment in where you're able to try new things. Because this boosts confidence and allows you to socially create and connect with people. And imagine you start getting good at something that you tried new, then you join a club, then you join this, then you do that, and that helps. So for example, I wanna learn how to crochet. I join a crochet club, boom. I'm in an environment where people are doing this thing and understand that that's the level they need to be at where it's like, hmm, I really wanna paint. Let me go hang out with painters. Hmm, are there painting classes nearby? Are there little workshops? Find those places and join them. Say you wanna learn more about cars, hit up a mechanic shop, call them, go there down the street, like, hey, can I watch what you guys do for a day? Shadow them. These are the little things that you gotta do to be in the space to try those new hobbies. And that's honestly how you build your network. And people always say that your network is your net worth. Don't be afraid of failing. Failing is important. You're gonna fail forward and grow. And if you don't fail, you're not gonna learn anything. You have to make mistakes to learn. And even if it's your own way, understand, say it takes you an hour to cook a meal that someone that was watching you could have cooked it in 20 minutes. Who cares? That hour of you doing it is gonna be so beneficial for your knowledge and your learning and your abilities. And this in turn creates a strong person. It makes you resilient to life. It makes you adaptable to change. In doing so, again, it creates this lifelong learning mindset, which is so important and allows you to always think, how can I improve? How can I learn something new today? And then you get in the habit of being able to be confident enough to learn new things after you've learned that first new thing. Being in a space and an environment to try new things and new hobbies is so important. And I urge you guys to try to find places that make you feel the most you. Be in those spaces more often. If sometimes you feel like being around this friend group doesn't make you feel the most yourself, but this other friend group, yes, then you know what to do. Hang around the people that make you feel like yourself. 
And it is hard sometimes to find that, but to find that, try new things. Even if you're alone and you're very independent, find those things, go to different workshops, sign up for random classes. Doing so will allow you to find those new passions to be the best version of yourself. So again, go out there. Don't be afraid to try something new today. And if you're nervous, hey, we're all nervous. We all go through it. Just try. You owe it to yourself to try something new today. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Be sure to follow, subscribe, like, share it, send it to all your friends. I really appreciate it. Comment anything I might have missed about trying new things and what you guys think about this. Because for me personally, sometimes when I tried new things and I knew no one around, I was at my best. I felt like I was peaking. So thank you guys again for supporting and I'll catch you guys next week for another one of these videos. See you later.